Welcome to the installation guide for the QMAX Fluid Tracing System, also known as QMAX FTS. We're excited to walk you through the simple and efficient installation process that will ensure a successful application. Remember, these are general guidelines, so always refer to your unique site specifications when necessary. Let's get started. Before we dive in, let's remember that preparation is the key to success. To ensure a smooth start, make sure you have all the necessary tools ready at your fingertips. Here's a list of essentials you'll need to get started. Gloves and any other PPE required by your site. A measuring device. The engage wire to temporarily hold the tubing and QMAX FTS in place. Plastic zip ties or bungee cords are also helpful to have on hand. Diagonal cutters to remove wire or zip ties. Stainless steel tube cutting and bending tools. QMAX FTS materials, such as straight sections, elbows, custom parts, etc. Site approved stainless steel or copper tubing and tubing unions. QMAX approved installation banding, buckles and banding installation tool, which are normally supplied with the system. QMAX approved heat transfer compound, HTC, which is also normally supplied with the system. An aluminum cutting tool, such as a portable bandsaw. Get ready for a seamless installation that's engineered to perfection. First, let's ensure your heating medium tubing fits snug within the QMAX FTS channel. Additionally, the precise alignment of the FTS underside contour with your process pipe is crucial. This meticulous matching of diameters is the key to a flawlessly installed system and optimal heat transfer efficiency. Tubing that's either undersized or oversized won't cut it when it comes to achieving the desired heat transfer performance. Ensuring the perfect size is essential for maximizing the efficiency of your heat transfer system. So let's make sure you get those measurements spot on and create a harmonious flow that delivers top-notch results. Place the proper QMAX fittings at the location of each pipe fitting and the proper length of QMAX straight sections to match the length of piping. Now, let's begin the application of the QMAX FTS in the following sequence. Follow these steps to ensure a smooth and efficient installation. We start each circuit by positioning the first QMAX FTS elbow in the system. This elbow step is crucial to ensure system performance. Grab your trusty measuring tools and take accurate measurements of the straight section where your QMAX FTS will work its magic. Remember, precision is key here. Double check your measurements to avoid any pesky errors that might throw your installation off track. Avoid installing the FTS over weld beads on the piping. Make FTS cuts to avoid any obstructions such as pipe supports and flanges, leaving one half to two inch gaps between components. Now it's time to bring out the heavy duty tools. Use a portable bandsaw equipped with an aluminum cutting blade to cut the QMAX FTS straight sections according to your precise measurements. Take your time and let the saw glide through the materials. Straight and accurate cuts will set the stage for a top-tier installation. Safety is our priority, so let's make sure there are no rough edges left over. After cutting, take a moment to remove any sharp edges or burrs from the QMAX FTS straight sections. A wire wheel is recommended. With these steps mastered, you're on your way to a great QMAX FTS installation. Now we're ready to kickstart the installation of the tubing. Grab your QMAX tube benders and get ready to shape the tubing in alignment with the installation drawings. Take a moment to refer to the installation drawings provided. These valuable references will guide you in positioning the tubing correctly on the FTS and along the pipe. Pay special attention to ensure that the elbows follow the same radius as the pipe elbows for a seamless fit. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide on how to bend tubing like a pro, just click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen or visit our website to check out the QMAX tube bending video. This visual instruction will walk you through the bending process with ease. Don't miss out on this valuable resource to ensure your tubing is precisely shaped for an impeccable installation. Now it's time for the heat transfer compound or HTC. Snip the tip off the HTC tube at 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the top. Apply HTC to both sides of QMAX FTS using a caulk gun or caulk tube. Let's get precise. Use a light row, 1 8 inch thick bead of HTC inside the FTS channel where the tubing is installed and double up with two light rows on the contoured side of the FTS channel. 
This meticulous application ensures optimal heat transfer performance. A thin layer of HTC is all that's needed. Click on the link above or visit our website for more valuable tips about heat transfer compound. Now it's time to install the QMAX FTS, ensuring proper mating with both the pipe and tubing for optimum performance. Follow these steps for a successful installation. With the HTC coating in place, it's time to get into the groove. Position the FTS elbow onto the pipe first, then gracefully follow it up with the next FTS straight channel. It's like a dance with the pipe, making sure they align perfectly. Next, with the tubing and FTS channel in hand, gently press the tubing into the FTS channel. As they come together, make sure your QMAX FTS and tubing snug up with the pipe. Take your time, for a proper fit will lead to optimal performance. Secure your installation with standard tubing wire at each fitting. Temporarily, hold the tubing and QMAX FTS to the pipe using this method. Secure the QMAX FTS and tubing with QMAX banding and buckles. Use either a helicopter style or pistol grip banding tool. Follow the link above or see our website for more banding tool instructions. You'll thank yourself later if you pre-assemble banding and buckles before final FTS placement because it helps to speed up final assembly. The banding should be cut at a length long enough to encompass the pipe circumference and still have enough length remaining to slide into the banding installation tool. Slide the buckle teeth first, one to two inch down, one end of the banding. Next, fold the one to two inch length of banding underneath the buckle and squeeze the fold with a pair of pliers to secure the buckle to the end of the banding. Loop the banding around the process pipe and FTS and slide the extra length of banding into the banding installation tool. Use the tool to tighten the banding until the FTS is secure to the pipe. You'll feel resistance in the banding tool and begin to see a thin, uniform layer of heat transfer compound squeeze out from the sides. Oozing is good and will help to ensure optimal performance. Fold the banding back over the buckle and use the banding shear built into the tool to cut the excess banding. Then use a hammer to fold the banding buckle tabs down to secure the banding. Here's a pro tip. Practice tightening the banding around the pipe and the FTS channel to get a feel for the proper band tension needed to be tight enough without breaking the band. The tighter the fit, the better the system will perform. Recapture and reuse any excess heat transfer compound that is not directly under the FTS to minimize waste. Each band should be positioned a maximum of 18 inches apart. Check for any temporary wires or zip ties beneath the QMAX channel or tubing and carefully remove them with appropriate tools. This ensures a clean and unobstructed installation with a snug fit. Thoroughly examine the area around the QMAX FTS and tubing for potential obstructions that could hinder a proper connection, weld beads, rusted areas, etc. And if any are found, take the necessary steps to remove them, ensuring a seamless mating with the pipe or tubing. Guidelines vary for each QMAX FTS installation as it is designed for specific applications. In the absence of specific spacing instructions, consider the following general guidelines. Along straight runs and at fittings, the spacing between QMAX FTS sections should be no more than 2 inches, 51 millimeters, unless otherwise specified. This tight connection guarantees system integrity and performance. Leave a 1 half inch 13 millimeter gap between all QMAX pieces, including straight runs and fittings. This allows room for thermal expansion of the system, ensuring it can handle temperature changes without undue stress. QMAX FDS should be secured within 1 half inch 13 millimeters from the back of each flange. Consult your QMAX representative if any section of pipe or equipment has more than a 2 inch 51 millimeter gap between the QMAX components. Incorporate expansion loops to tackle thermal expansion in the tubing installation. Use offset loops or standard loops at flanges to provide flexibility and prevent system stress. Remember to place loops at least every 50 feet 15 meters, and at all tube joints. This ensures thermal expansion is accommodated and connections remain outside the insulation for visual leak detection. Now, your QMAX FDS installation is resilient and ready to handle any heat challenge. For future reference and best practices, take pictures of the tracing system's installation before insulating the areas. These photos will serve as valuable data for reference and troubleshooting after the commissioning process. Congratulations on successfully installing your QMAX FTS system. By following this easy to follow guide, you've set the stage for our optimal heat transfer performance. 
Enjoy the efficiency, reliability, and savings that your QMAX FTS system brings to your operations. If you come across any questions or need further assistance during the installation process, don't hesitate to reach out to QMAX directly. Our knowledgeable support team can be reached at 1-704-643-7299. We are here to provide prompt and reliable assistance, addressing any concerns or inquiries that you may have. QMAX Industries, simplifying our world one BTU at a time.